Hi, Joe Hood here with a quick video on how to trace your arch in CS3D for the purpose of visualizing the scan in a panoramic view, otherwise known as a curvilinear view. First step is to make sure that you're on the Curve Slicing tab. And if your software is not set up to automatically trace the arch, this is the type of view you will have. The next step is to grab the slider control and move the axial plane down so that you can begin to visualize the canal. And what I'd like to do is position the axial plane so that we can visualize the most posterior region of the canal that was acquired in the scan. This is where I'll begin to trace. The next step, you grab your arch tracing tool and with a series of left clicks, starting at the outermost region of the scan, I'll trace along the canal. As I start to do this, you'll see the panoramic view begin to appear in the top right of the screen. So ideally, we're going to trace the arch along the canal. And in order to do that, you can continue to grab the slider and move the plane so that you can continue to visualize the canal as you trace. Now, as I come around to the left side, you can either grab the slider again to continue visualizing, or you can actually use your scroll wheel to make micro movements up and down. And when to finish, you want to double click again on the outermost region of the scan. So now we have a panoramic view in the top right of the screen with the nerve canals identified very nicely. But it doesn't look like a traditional panoramic, does it? That's because it's displayed as a 150 micron thick slice along this red curvilinear line, right? So it's not showing all of the anatomy that's acquired in a panoramic. But that's okay because the initial purpose of doing this is to be able to trace the nerve canal. We'll do that first before having it display as a traditional pan. So the next thing we want to do is take our cross sectional plane and slide it over so you can visualize the mental frame in, in the cross-sectional view at the bottom right of the screen. We'll then select our nerve tracing tool, and we can trace the nerve in both the cross-sectional view as well as the panoramic view. I usually start here, again, a series of left clicks. Now I'll hover over the panoramic view and use my scroll wheel to slide in and out of the scan. And where the nerve canal is most or best identified, that is generally your, the slice being right in the center of the canal and a safe place to, to mark. Double click to finish. And the nerve, the traced nerve is displayed in all four views. And so the next step is to have this panoramic look more like a traditional 2D panoramic. So we do two things in order to have that happen. The first thing is to thicken up the slice so that it includes all of the anatomy along the arch. And you'll visualize that here in the axial view. Every bit of anatomy that's inside these two red borders is displayed in this panoramic view, starting to look more like a traditional panoramic. If you want to see a little more contrast, what you can actually do is come over here to your NPR adjustments and come down to your enhancement filter and grab this slider and you'll start to see that panoramic start to look like a more traditional pan. When you're finished, if you want to export a copy of this, you can come up to this drop down option and choose the camera icon. When you select that, what happens is that you drop a screenshot, a JPEG screenshot here in the gallery. Two things can be done with the JPEG screenshots. First, if you're a CSI imaging user of ours, that imaging software is open right behind CS3D. So if you minimize the size of the, the window for CS3D, you'll see the 2D software open behind it. You can left click and hold the screenshot from the gallery and drag it into the 2D software so that you have a record of that image in the patient's 2D imaging record and not have to always open the 3D scan to visualize it. You can even drag the JPEG out of the gallery and out of CS3D software onto your desktop. 
Once it's saved outside of CS3D, you can treat it like any other camera image. You could drag it into a PowerPoint for a study club meeting, or you could attach it to an email to a colleague or other specialist for a second opinion. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Have a great day.